Guys, what I wanted to do in this video is to take a few minutes to show you about some of the options in the controller configuration tool for when you replace older N2 devices, uh, such as UNTs, DXs, and that sort of thing. And what I'm going to do is just to create a generic program uh, right here to show you something that uh, I want you to see. Uh, just a standard air handling unit. Uh, you know, with the technology, with the way that it's changing, a lot of devices are uh, just going out of, you know, out of manufacture, out of, um, you know, harder to get in a lot of cases. Some of those devices are more expensive to repair than replacing them with a newer device. I know that uh, the last time that we had a UNT repaired, I could have bought an FEC controller for what it cost us to get that unit repaired. What I want to look at here is down at the bottom of the selection tree is the N2 compatibility options. What this is going to do is go ahead and give you some configuration within your programming for replacing some of these older devices. You can see here we have the option of replacing uh, just a standard AHU controller, a UNT, or a DX9100. And whatever you select on this, as I'd said before, it's going to go ahead and configure a few things for you. Now, this is a very helpful option at times. It usually has everything lined out to where uh, the replacement will go much smoother. But something that I want you to be aware of is the fact that you do not get that option in all cases. Again, let's look at another system. Uh, something that we've got coming up is we're going to be replacing a chilled water system DX9100. Uh, that is something that's going to be going away completely. Uh, you know, let's and I want to show you the option here of uh, what the system will do then. Okay, just a standard cooling plant and hit OK. And I'm not really going to go through the selection tree in this video to show you. Uh, I just drop that down to a single chiller. If I go to the bottom on this particular system, you're going to see that I do not have the options given. Okay, I do not have that N2 compatibility option. All right, even though we're replacing a DX9100 uh, with an FAC controller, uh, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with those. I did a video that kind of highlighted a little bit about those FAC controllers. They basically are an FEC controller that is on an adapter plate that allows you to plug them directly into a DX9100 back panel. In a situation like that, you should be able to replace a uh, DX9100 with one of those FAC controllers. What you will run into, however, depending on how your system is configured, one thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to sit down with your drawings, your wiring sheet, uh, to get everything figured out the way that you need it to. Because something that happens in the CCT software compared to a DX9100 is the way that your points are going to fall. All right, what you would do then is you would get your DX9100, your wire sheet or whatever, you're gonna go in here and whatever your inputs, your outputs are configured at on one of the DX9100s, if you're replacing it with an FAC adapter, then you would need to make sure that each of these points match because uh, you know that DX, it, the points, the way that that DX9100 is will be different than this. And I recently did a program where we had, uh, where we're going to be replacing that. And let me see if I can show it to you real quick. Uh, of course, I don't want to save this. This is just a generic program that I did. Okay, here is the program that I wrote to run the FAC controller, that chill water system, where we're gonna be replacing the DX9100. And again, what I had to do was set down with the drawings for the system. I had to set down uh, and just with a copy of the original program to know exactly where my points were going to land. And of course, with the drag and drop feature here in CCT, it made it much easier but this is something that you need to be well aware of if you do ever have to replace 
an older controller with a newer generation controller. And yes, you can simply remove everything and do a complete rewire, but uh, the reason that we are replacing that DX9100 with an FAC is we are under a little bit of time constraint with that system. We've got to get back online just as quick as possible, and that is why we're using that particular controller. Again, it's not a very hard process. Uh, the hardware change out is very simple. Simply remove the DX9100 from the back panel and install the FAC controller and load the program into it and then do your checkout. You can get the system up and running much faster than having to rewire everything. But guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do to talk with you about some of the changes uh, some of the ways that you can use the CCT controller software options to go ahead and do some of that configuration for you and some things that you need to check and uh, you know some of the limitations of it. But anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you let me hear from you, have you ever had to replace an older N2 device with a newer controller? Uh, if you have, let me know down in the comments below. Also guys, check out the links down in the description. Uh, I've got some links to some of the legacy devices out there. If any of you guys are out there looking for some of the N2 devices or as well as some of the actuators and even some of the FEC, some of the newer devices, I do have some links down in the description to where you can pick some of those up. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel and we'll see you next time.